channel if you too welcome to my channel i'm anthony tv look do me a favor guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button for me man like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment man you already know i appreciate your support i was actually gonna pull up on mclean earlier this morning you guys seen that clip of mclean making a delivery to a love's gas station this morning i was gonna pull up on them guys man but um it was one guy inside of the trailer he was all the way in the front of the trailer like in the nose part and they didn't have a light in that trailer um so i seen the guy kind of using his phone flashlight to look for cases and all that you know they look like they're struggling a little bit or he looked like he was struggling a little bit trying to find cases so i didn't even mess with those guys this morning um and then the one that was outside the older gentleman he was uh he was actually in the back room somewhere but yeah, that was the only reason I didn't pull up on those guys. But I see them um, at that gas station, you know, every time I fill up. So, you know, I'll probably catch them on another day. I'm done for the day, as you can see. I'm at my hotel right now. We had a pretty good day overall. Um, you know, a light, light load today. And one of my one of my accounts, they got an inventory or something like that coming up. So they had a really small load today. Um, so that kind of, you know, uh, helped me get done a lot earlier uh than i would have this morning i was at my second stop and i was in the cooler and i was kind of laughing because i was thinking about uh a little situation that happened you know a while back and i'm like you know it'd be kind of funny if i share these stories with you guys man so you see the title of today's video man i'm basically just gonna share a few stories that has happened since I've been in food service, you know, a few things that I've experienced that's kind of crazy, kind of funny. Without further ado, man, let's go ahead and dive into the first story, man. So the first story I want to share with you guys, again, I think it's kind of crazy, um, kind of funny, and could be a little scary to, to some people, but I was making a delivery to a customer. When you go into the cooler, you have sometimes you have to move some carts around or you know move some carts out or move you know anything out of the way that could be blocking you from entering the cooler right you guys know if you're in food service we have to do that from time to time so this particular account sometimes they have this cart right in front of the door as soon as you open the door it's like this cart in front that you have to pull out and then whenever you get done putting the cases in you know you push everything back in like like it was before you got there so they had this cart um in the front door and they had a case on the floor that was also blocking the front entrance so i had to move the cart out and i also had to move the case right so i go to move the cart grab the cart i pull it out push it to the side they had this case on the ground and the lid was almost coming off the, the case, right? So I was getting ready to pick the case up. I was a little nosy. I was like, man, what is this? And so when I lift the lid up, it was live crabs inside of the box, man. When I tell you guys, I'm talking about big crabs too. When I tell you guys, they're like, <laughs> I almost jumped out my skin, bro, cause I was not expecting some live crabs moving around in the case um so that kind of like that kind of freaked me out a little bit man i'm not gonna lie i was not expecting to see some live crabs moving around in the case man so yeah so that was that was a little a little crazy moment for me a little funny moment um and it kind of freaked me out a little bit i'm not gonna lie so that case it's safe to say I didn't pick that case up. I kind of just, you know, moved it over a little bit, moved it over just enough to where I can actually, you know, get inside of the cooler. Um, but yeah, that was a funny moment. That was the first, um, you know, funny moment. The second moment, believe it or not, man, it was with the same customer, but a different location, right? The same customer. I had another experience that was kind of crazy. Uh, but it was just at a different location. So it's the summertime, real hot. It gets real hot here. And this was actually, this happened in Florida. The first incident happened in Mississippi, right? Like I said, two different locations, but it's the same customer. Um, and it's a, it's a chain customer. 
So it's one summer, I think it happened about maybe a year ago, probably a year and a half ago. And I'm making a delivery to this customer. I'm on the sidewalk, right? I got a load coming in. You have like the sidewalk in the middle and then you have like bushes on each side of the sidewalk. So you got some bushes on the left, bushes on the right, and then you got the sidewalk in the middle. So I'm coming up the sidewalk with a load and all of a sudden I see this big black snake. I'm talking about the snake was probably about, it probably was about this big around. It was a black snake, right? This And it was, it was probably about this long. Like no lie, it was about this long. So I'm coming up the sidewalk with my load and all of a sudden I see this snake slide right across in front of me about a foot in front of me he slide over to the other side and i just stopped in my tracks and i was like oh shit. i'm like oh shoot it stopped me dead in my tracks man when i tell you guys man i like dropped the load i mean i didn't drop the cases on the ground but like you know they was on a dolly so i kind of left my dolly right there and i'm looking like this trying to see if i where the snake went you know what i'm saying i'm looking like this and that's one thing I hate most, bro, is like snakes. When it comes to like animals, reptiles, all that type of stuff, dogs and all that, cool. When it comes to snakes, bro, I can't do them snakes, man. It's not uncommon to see snakes here in Florida because it gets so hot. Um, you know, on the side of the road, you may see a, a snake, a dead snake that done got ran over. Occasionally, you know, you may see a snake. Um, you know, you may see one just you know, sliding up the um, driveway somewhere or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's not uncommon to see a snake around here. But that right there was 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 uncommon to see that happen. Um, I was not expecting that at all at that stop. And when I tell you guys, man, I was looking to see where that snake went. I, I didn't see it no more. And I still had a few more um, runs to make in this account. And I'm like, man, I'm trying to hurry up and get up out of here. I was like, pew, I shot cross into the um into the customer, man. Once that snake passed, I waited for a little bit. And then I'm like, man, I start running with them cases trying to get them inside so I can get up out of there. But that was another funny moment, man. And coincidentally, man, like I said, it was the same customer just a different location that's what make it so crazy um but yeah those was those was two uh instances where you know something crazy happened um and a third one so part of my route i have to go to new orleans right i have to go to new orleans to make a delivery there was a few days where i was driving to new orleans and if you guys never been to New Orleans before or Louisiana, you know, they got a, it's a lot of swamp land over there. So anyway, you know, if you've ever been driving down the highway or, you know, the interstate or something like that, it's not uncommon, at least where I live, to see like dead deers on the side of the road. You know, it's not uncommon to see dead possum or even like a dead dog or something. Man, when I was in New Orleans, I'm riding up the road and I look over to the side on the shoulder area and they literally had dead crocodiles or alligators. It was hard to tell which one. And they was like babies. So they wasn't like super long, but they were at least three feet or something like that, man. I seen like dead, either a crocodile or an alligator on the side of the roads. That right there was like, that threw me off too. That was like crazy. Um, I even, I sent a text to my wife too and like told her about that because I had never seen a dead crocodile or nothing like that just on the side of the road. Like somebody had ran it over or something. I don't know. It's just like you would see, like I mentioned earlier, a dead deer or something. They got dead crocodiles and stuff. Like I literally seen that. And if you guys live in New Orleans, anybody that's live in New Orleans or Louisiana, or at least, you know, been to New Orleans, if you've seen that, let me know in the comments, man. So yeah, guys, those are some of the crazy stories, some of the craziest things that I've seen since I've been in food service these past three years. Um, I also got a lot of stories uh, when I was a delivery driver for Krispy Kreme, some crazy stuff that I've seen there. Um, but I won't, you know, tell you guys all those stories on this video. 
But I will share one with you guys. It's a funny one that um, I'll never forget, right? So I was making a delivery to this customer. It was a, a Tom Thumb convenience store. It's like a Circle K or any type of 7-Eleven store. Uh, I was making a delivery and I was getting ready to pull into this store parking lot and I look behind me and I see these red and blue lights flashing, right? So I'm like, it's a cop. So I'm looking like, man, what is he, you know, pulling me over for? Like I was already like pulling into the parking lot, but he was, he hopped behind me, right? So I'm in the parking lot, sitting in the truck, wondering like, you know, what is he doing? I knew I haven't ran a red light or ran a stop sign or did anything uh, illegally that would have justified him pulling me over. So I was, I didn't have no idea why he was behind me with the lights flashing. Or well, like I say, he didn't pull me over, but he, he got behind me with the lights flashing, right? So he come up to the truck and he like, you know, what's going on? Can I see your, uh, can I see your license? So I'm like, yeah, like what's the, what's the problem? And he was like, I'll tell you in, in a second. And I'm like, all right, Ooh, so I gave him my license, went back, he went back to the car, uh, checked the license, he come back to the truck, he gave me my license and He's like, you know, I pulled you over. I'm like, no. He was like, you mind stepping out the out the truck for a minute? So I'm like, yeah. So he's like, you mind walking back here? Let me show you something real quick. I walk back to the back of my truck. I'm thinking it must be a light or something, or something, something like that. So he's like, um, you mind open up the back of the truck for me? Like that. So I'm like, open the back of the truck up. So I'm thinking like, Man, what does do want me to open the back of the truck up for? So, I open the back of the truck. I know it's, there's nothing back there but donuts. So, I open the back of the truck up and do like, you got some donuts for me, man? <laughs> like that, right? And he just started laughing, man. He just started laughing. And uh, he just was like, man, I had to get you, man. He said, I was talking about it on the radio with one of my partners. And I was like, man, I got to mess with this Krispy Kreme guy real quick right so he got me good um he started laughing after he did it i gave him a um a dozen box of donuts some glazed donuts i had some extra donuts that day and i hooked him up with some donuts and uh yeah man that was that was pretty funny that's something that i'll never forget just because it was you know a police officer pulling over a Krispy Kreme guy it, it, it was just funny man so he got a kick out of it i got a kick out of it but yeah so Funny things happen out here, man. Funny things. And you guys would be surprised what some people would do for some donuts, man. That's all I'm going to say. But look, I'm going to wrap this video up, man. Do me a favor. All my food service delivery drivers out there, let me know what some of your crazy experiences has been. Let me know, you know, something funny that, that you've seen since you've been in food service. You know, keep it PG-13. Nothing like, you know, that rated r crazy type stuff or x-rated crazy uh, but you know keep it keep it keep it cool let me know in the comments man just drop it in the comments all right all right guys look remember man if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button like this video drop a comment if you got a comment until next time i catch you guys on the next one man y'all take care peace